right guys it's too much in a way and welcome back to my channel so i'm just gonna get straight into it today i am painting i think I, you saw the last vlog i was like looking for painting supplies and stuff and finally this is the video of me painting the feature walls that i've chosen for my house so i've already went ahead and taped the first feature wall i'll show you that in a bit but now i have to tape up that wall but before i do that I kind of have to take down the blinds that are on the door so i don't know it's kind of a challenge right now i was looking at how it's put up there and i hope i have the tools to take to be able to take it down so i guess i'm just gonna plop you over and i guess you're just gonna we're gonna see if i'm gonna be successful so as you can see i already went ahead and taped down all this all the way here and then i want to take this down too but the problem is i need to take this out first and i need to take this the core out oh, that's easy but like i just need to take this um blinds down so that i can be able to like have space to paint and all that so right now it kind of looks like i might need some sort of like tool to try and pry this open i don't know if i can show you let me try and show you what's going on over there See, the issue that I'm having is this place is too tight for me to have a screwdriver to open. Under here, I don't know if you guys can see, but under here there's like a screw. There's a place where if I could have the opening, I would put a screwdriver to unscrew that. But that's too tight right now. So I kind of need to get rid of this rod. So I kind of need to get rid of this rod for me to be able to remove this. I don't know what these are called. Brackets? I don't know whatever they're called. But this is held on so tight with this metal piece and i'm not sure how to make it unhinge so i'm gonna try and figure that out and take this out and then i'll get back to you guys okay so i was able to remove the screw up top and you can see that's like completely let go over there perfect so what i use is this like this tool i don't know what it's called and i'm just like because it's thin enough, so I just use this teeth and I hold the screw like that. Oh, hold on. I'm using one hand here. So see, I have it holding the screw like that and I turn it a little bit. And I turn it and I turn it and I turn it until it's like all the way loose and it lets it go. So I think that's a better option than trying to figure out how to unhinge this. Because so this is like in there, it's not going anywhere. So that's what I'm doing. Just wanted to update you on that. So I guess the next time you'll see me, this thing will be down. Okay, so the part that I was worried most about, I figured it out. The blinds are down. So now all I need to do is like use a drill and remove these brackets over here. Okay, same for that one. And then I'll start taping. Of course, I have to remove those two. And then I'll start taping. Okay guys, so all of the thing has been taken down. No brackets, no nothing. Oh, shoot. So I still have like some holes in there but that's fine I can just fill those up with I don't know what the thing is called the white paste I'll show you to you later and then I guess now I'll just start taping this wall I tried to pull this out today morning I couldn't for some reason so I'm just gonna have to paint around it hopefully it just doesn't look weird when I do that <laughs> Okay guys, so I feel like this is like the perfect spot to show you exactly what I'm doing when I say when I'm taping the wall. So basically, I just take a piece of tape, about that long. Don't make it too long because it becomes harder to manage the tape. So about that long. And then literally, I just line it exactly where the corner is. I don't know if you guys can see, I hope you can see and just make a straight line now the trick is to make sure the tape is not is like right in the middle it's not over this line or it's not it's not leaning over this it's like just right in the middle it's not too far off from the corner over here once you feel like you got the positioning you just tape it down like that so let me show you up close you see that it's right 
at the corner it's not too much on this side it's right in the center like that so that gives you that nice straight line so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish taping the rest of the door and then I guess the next time I'm seeing you is oh I'll show you something else but let me finish taping this all right guys so pretty much everything has been taped up properly all the way down all the way on the door all the way to the top same for this wall everything is taped up all the way down and all the way back here too right there. so i just decided to go ahead and start with this wall only because i actually need to hang the curtains up at night so that no one can see inside so i'm just gonna show you exactly how i cook just so i can avoid any sort of like bleeding so this is like like i say this is just a dollar tree um caulking that i have over here and i just go ahead and like squeeze all the way down let me bring it close so you can see so as you can see i just go ahead and squeeze all the way down on the corner like that all the way to the floor and then you just take your finger and just like run it down the caulking just like that so that creates like a seal like a proper seal between the corners and the tape and everything so now we can finally paint so time for the fun part so according to the video i'll link that video down below just in case because just in case you want to see like other people's techniques and how they did this i'll link the video down below so what he said is like you need like two parts of paint and then one part of the baking soda so i'm just gonna do exactly that i got my paint here from bear and this paint is called um nightclub such a fun name it's not the reason why i picked the paint actually but it just happened to be the perfect color that I wanted and at the same time it's fun name you know paint is called nightclub yo let's have a good time okay so I'm just gonna pour two parts of the paint into a cup right here please god let me not make a mess is this tight okay two parts of paint so I'm gonna do I look at it i feel like one, one is a lot let me see how the one will, how far the one will take me first so i'll just do one meaning that i'll just have to do half a cup of baking soda start a little bit and mix so he said it's gonna get a little too thick you can add in a little bit more water water so that the paint can be like in a consistency that you can use a paintbrush i'll see how that how much water i'll need i'm gonna have to to make sure i have the exact measurements so that i can replicate that on the other wall so i went ahead and put some water in the same cup that had the paint and i'm just gonna eyeball it and add the water into the mixture because he said add a little he didn't specify but i'm just thinking it should be in the consistency where I am able to paint with no problems so I'll just start with just a little that much see how that goes I think that's all I need actually that's good yeah, that's definitely good enough so we're gonna start painting but let me just be a little honest um I've always wanted to do this like have like a black textured wall or some sort somewhere in my house but now that I'm actually doing it, I'm kind of nervous. Like, what if I hate it? Black is like strong color. But like, I don't think I would hate it because all the inspiration and ha houses that I've seen that I've had black walls, I always just gravitate towards that. So I don't think I'd hate it, but you never know. So anyways, I'm just going to go for it because no risk, no reward. So let's do it. So I forgot to mention the brush that I'm going to be using is just this $1 one from the Dollar Tree. I also got a bigger one also from the Dollar Tree and it's just this i'm gonna use on the edges just so i can be precise and then the bigger one i'm gonna use on the other bigger surfaces so pretty much that's it 
not turning back now i underestimated how much work it is to paint this wall especially with a hand brush because for it to be a textured wall i just can't like go ahead and like use a roller i kind of have to like use a brush so I, like i can just brush in every way possible that way it's like not a neat it's not neat i want it to be as messy as possible my hand is already tired and i've only gotten that spot i still have to do all of that i don't think this is gonna be a finish tonight but i'll try my best we'll see i'm gonna uh, switch you guys off because obviously this is gonna take a long time and then when it's uh it comes to a spot where i can show you exactly how to get this done uh i'll get back to you guys so i'm just gonna relax take my time paint sip some wine paint. okay guys so i've gotten down to this level and this is the only piece that i have left and i just thought i would show you the technique that i'm using literally there's no technique you're just applying the paint on each and any way possible however direction doesn't matter so that's what i've been doing like that there is no right or wrong so that's what i'm doing i've just been doing swirls like that because it is my wall is already textured so that's what it is What we're looking like i have completely finished painting the whole wall and now i'm just gonna go ahead and start removing the tape because i don't want the paint to dry on the tape i mean I, i'm pretty sure this side has probably like dried days later okay i just woke up today morning and i wanted to do my black friday shopping i drove all the way to best buy and i saw the line and i quickly came back home because the line was like wrapping around the best buy and the sun is beaming i was wearing black there's no way that was happening so i was like let me go back home finish painting and then hopefully get go back to best buy later in the evening when it's not too sunny and then hopefully the line would have succeeded hopefully so I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up painting today. By the way, it's been four days. I painted that one wall and I've been busy. I've been up and down doing everything else but painting. So I'm just gonna wrap up the painting on this wall today. finally i'm done painting one thing i need to mention is my walls did not come out exactly how i expected to, them to come out like i expected them to come out like textured walls just like the video i linked down below of the guy but i don't know why apparently mine just didn't come out the same way but still regardless i love it it still looks super cool and so without further ado here is a reveal for my painted walls <laughs> 